representatives of Transatlantic are declining comment at this time. Beyond the statement issued Thursday morning indicating that human error is not responsible for the spill. Though with increasing pressure from the lawmakers and the hell is this mess? Sir, Herodotus has reached an impact point. All right, Vitaly. Catch him in. Herodotus! Quinn? This is Smith. Quinn, you there? Roger that, Smith. All right, we are deep eight on the floor. Go to line uh, C double E. What's up? Let me know if you see anything, well, different. Something tells me we aren't looking for a rupture in the main line. Really, Quinn, I, I don't know what the hell I'm looking for. Well, then, I'm sure I'll find it. Captain. Well, hold on there, Smith. What do you see? We're going through a debris field. Lots of sediment. There's a lot of kick-up. Well, hold on just a sec. Sonar readings are showing a field of 10 miles. And it goes deep. Well, how deep? We're on the floor already. Something must be off. This can't be correct. <laughs> Smith! Quinn! Quinn, you there? Smith, can you hear me? Can you Hello. read me? Hello, Jennifer? contact! Contact! Hello! What the hell do you suppose we should do now? This is Herodotus, do you read me? Hello? Jennifer! Quinn, can you read me for Christ's sake? Damn it! Now we're alone. In the dark now. What about the manual pulse? We're at the bottom of the ocean. A whale? Hold on. Ma'am, I'm getting a different heat reading coming in. It's one giant mass. Let's get out of here. I need a heading, full power. Get us out of here right, now! Let's that. Let's go! I know that there's a lot going on, but we have the press in room three. I don't give a damn about the press. I need to know, was this an accident? Of course this was an accident. That was a $15 million machine down there. And two operators are unaccounted for. What would you tell the press? Understood. I'm fine, I'm fine. What the hell's wrong with this rig? I don't know, maybe we've hit a rack. <laughs> Sir, what the hell do you mean we lost another oil rig? Sir, I, I know as crazy as it sounds, but we cross-checked this with NOAA and NASA, and we checked the dock ratings every 30 seconds, sir. Take that damn thing away. Sir. You don't need to watch a YouTube video to know that a 40,000-ton rig doesn't vanish off the Gulf of Mexico. You're worse than my grandchildren. Yes, sir. This it? Where is everybody? It's Mardi Gras, sir. All the streets are shut down. Don't get a halo, for Christ's sake. I had to. Well, as well did I. Well, then, let's talk about something that matters. Yes, sir. Well, I won't take this personally, but quite frankly, I think it's a lot of bull myself. The satellite goes down, and the oil rig vanishes. Shocker. But what if it is something else? 
an explosion would have registered on seismic readings, not to mention higher elevations of carbon monoxide and smoke, which would have been visible for miles. Well, I'm glad to see NASA taking an interest in this. I already have enough beads. You are? Doctor, Margaret Adams, Operations Bureau Chief NASA. This is Specialist Stone. Sir. Oh, yes, of course. Project Armada. We felt this would be a good opportunity to move Project Armada into its first live field test. We, as in the rest of NASA? Most of us. Pretty big step for a radar glitch. Do you have any more information you want to tell me? We don't believe the rig disappeared. We believe it was scuttled. Okay. Dr. Adams, is it? Yes. You don't scuttle a rig. You scuttle a ship. Exactly. We've done the recon. It wasn't a computer glitch. The rig is gone. So what do you propose? Deep sea dive. Deep sea dive? Are you serious? That area in the Gulf is 800 fathoms deep. We're talking bottom of the ocean floor deep. Are these suits pressurized? They've been tested at 400 fathoms, no breakage. Computer simulations show we can go another thousand. You do understand that there's a big difference between what goes on in the simulator and what takes place in reality, correct? All right, we send in a mini. We did. OK, and what did it find out? We lost contact with it 15 minutes into the dive. 15 minutes. Are these MBOT pilots ready? Gearing up as we speak, awaiting orders. I know this Captain Waters is a bit of a loose cannon. And why you continue to allow him in the program, Admiral, is beyond me. He was the first one to sign up, and he passed all the tests. He is a reckless liability. Yes, but he's the best we've got. He's on board with the program now. He won't be any trouble. Is he training? As we speak. Swag, though. Some of that Cali Kush. Really know how to treat a lady. Uh, I'm very good at Don Carlos. Don Juan Carlos. Squid? Yeah, dude. What? Anything? Uh, let me call you that. What'd you say? Red. You heard me. No, red. No, 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 it's all cool. I, I just want to make sure I heard him right. Don't do this. Squid? Let me just tell you something. I'll kick your ass so fast, you won't know what to hit you, bro. Yo, just settle down, all right? Yo, back up, bitch. Don't touch her. Yes. Yes, sir. Copy that. We gotta be on deck in ten minutes. Go, 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 go. Glad you lovebirds can make it. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it for the world. Hey, you should have come. Did y'all know they starting us at 800 fathoms? Did you drink at Mardi Gras? Doctor, you know we don't drink. We had, like, two beers three hours ago. Why the rush? <laughs> because it's a search and rescue. For what? Oil rig. Wait, we're missing an oil rig? Yeah, how do you, how do you lose an oil rig? I don't know, but we about to find out. How many were on board? It's not looking good for about 172. Wait, are we cleared for 800 fathoms? No. Sam's we hit about 134. That's reassuring.
See you on the bot, bitches. You good? Yeah. You? I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, Grace, this is Red One. I am settling in another bot. Things up, setting comms, comms are good. Command center, this is Pilot Blue commencing launch sequences. Engage, go, full power, I'm live, all systems are up. Dr. Adams. Excuse me, Admiral? Such a show. Hardly. Of course it's a show, and I have front row seats. You took the opportunity of a search and rescue mission and turned it into a showcase for some very expensive toys. We're on the same team here. I'm trying to find the rig, maybe some survivors. I don't know what you expect to find down there, Doctor, but my team is not expendable. Is that understood? I have been with Project Armada since its inception. They're my team, too. Good. All right, check out this dive. Olympic winner here, baby. Tracy, you ready to get wet? So mature. <laughs> Way to get dropped. Let go. some sort of electrical surge. She's gonna lose all oxygen. Made it, made it. I can't breathe. Sit tight, sit tight. We're restarting you. Comp Tracy, everything's gonna be fine. Power cycle it. We can't cycle at this step. Lieutenant Hendricks. Nothing. Face, what's wrong with her bot? Get her damn bot back up. Tracy! Face, get that fixed up now! Her bot is failing! She'll be back in three, two, one. She's back. You back on? You good? You good? Back in business, baby. Woo! She's back on. Close call. She was never in any real danger. We're approaching 500 fathoms. Come on, you guys. You cannot have that kind of stuff happening down here. Okay, pilots. 
Your barometers read you still have another 700 feet to go before you reach the ocean floor. When you do, your system's computer will sync with the ship, so you'll have our sonar readings. How are you doing down there, Snug? How's the bug, Admiral? Outstanding. Approaching 600 fathoms. It is super hot, and the pressure's increasing exponentially. Yeah, my ears keep popping. 727 fathoms. Approaching the bottom. Don't you get down there. Any great ideas on how we're supposed to go looking for this great missing oil rig? They're approaching the ocean floor. They've reached the bottom. Okay. Take position five, 25 degrees from each other. Position five in place. Initializing gyroscopic equilibrium. Reactive matrix online. Image and data recorders up and running. Activating external lights now. External lights. You guys picking this up? Whoa. What happened down here? Oh my god. That's a hell of a lot of damage. Oh my god, it's a ship graveyard down here. Whatever happened, I don't even think they saw it coming. I've never seen something like this before. Damn, man, there's a lot of wreckage here. This place got torn to shreds. Unbelievable. I've dived damn near 100 dives and seen countless pictures of others. And believe me when I tell you this, I've never seen anything like this before. Earthquake, maybe? Missed by every seismic monitoring station on the East Coast? Then, then some underwater phenomenon, then. What kind of phenomenon? I don't know, sir. Well, that's no damn help, is it? Understood, sir. Run the Grobo. See if you can detect any variance in pressure. The bot scanners aren't showing any anomalies. So bizarre. Tectonics look normal. Nothing's out of the ordinary. Bull butter. I've seen enough damage in my time to know when it's intentional and know when it's natural. Get on the horn. Get me subs, carriers, and destroyers out here on the devil. And find me, guys. Yes, sir. Who would take down an oil rig? That's a damn good question, Doctor. One I hope to find an answer to. Copy that, I got the bogey too. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks pretty big. It's getting closer. Do you see what I'm seeing? There's something on my monitors right now. Do you see what I am seeing? Holy crap, what the hell is that? I have no idea, but it's big. It's enormous. What the hell is it? I need subs, I need carriers, fighters, and destroyers. And get me guys. What is that? Coming closer and closer. Base, you seeing this? What is that? This is not a vessel. Ah! It's a whale. It's a whale. Oh. Just a whale. Jesus. Scared the hell out of me. A whale. Who would ever thought? Oh! Look at his head! Sir, I just got off the horn. Everything you requested is on its way, sir. Well, then get back on the horn. Tell him to send everything else. Yes, sir. There's something else. Yeah, I'm getting something too. What is this on our sonar? It looks like a mermaid. Holy crap, did you see that? Oh my god, what was what was that? It looked like some sort of uh, I don't know what the hell I just seen. I guarantee that's whatever brought down that oil rig. Go down here, guys. No, 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 Tracy, hold up. We don't know what that thing is. I can catch up with it. They're not for sure. We have it on sonar. We'll track it. I'm on it. I'm closing in. That's our only defense. Do not put the bots in danger. They're still in pursuit. Do not pursue. I repeat, do not pursue. 
Come on, Jimmy boy, let's do this. Come on, come on. I don't think this is a good time to be doing all that. Not now. All right, we'll do what you want. I'm going after it, man. All righty, then. Right behind you. Sir, red and green have joined the pursuit. God damn it. In pursuit of what? I mean, can someone please tell me what the hell that thing was? That's a damn good question. How far behind is blue? 100 meters and closing fast. All right, I'm almost in range. I'm going to take a shot. Harpoon is locked and loaded. Tracy, you got a shot if you do. Take it, baby. Take it. Firing harpoon. I got this. I got this. I got this. God damn it, Red. I just had that shot. It just disappeared from my sonar. I don't have anything here. Anybody else reading anything? Screw it. I'm still going after him. I'm bringing this fish in. Do not pursue. That's a direct order. You had your chance and you blew it. It ain't too late. It's never too late. I'm gonna get it. Remote trigger that thing. Shut him down. Sir, if that thing reaches the coast, people are gonna die. Do it. are down no no only two bots are down red must be out of range out of range what kind of remote you got in that damn thing well maybe he'll catch up to it before it hits land he's heading for the coast the entire world's about to learn about project armada never mind call out the entire fleet get me a battalion of marines up and ready to be deployed on the east coast i got a damn feeling we're gonna need them Send in the seals, send in the green berets. You need to send everybody. about to come ashore. Jesus H. Christ, I'd love to be watching the news tonight. Listen to me. You are in great danger. This is a U.S. government issue. Mechanized robot. You need to evacuate the beach now. Get off the beach. Get off the beach now. Let me know. Fill 
me in. Remember your training, baby. You got this. Doing to them fighters, son. Been fired a daddy rabbit. Daddy rabbit, over. I'm coming up to the target area. You're cleared to engage in sector seven. I can't believe they shut me down. I had them in my sights. They, they, they scramble fighters. They got a lot of force going in. As long as Red can hold up, hopefully he can hold up. He'll be all right. Approaching target now. Oh my god, you are not kidding, sir. I'm coming in with the 50. Approaching sector 77. The 50 cal is locked and loaded. Here we go. Oh yeah, 50 caliber, baby. All day. What up? The 50 cal is not doing anything to this thing, sir. All right, Spitfire, listen. I'm a missile. Come back around. I will guarantee you a target. You heard the man do as he says. All right, I'm coming in for a scraping run. I'm going to finish out! Captain Waters is our best damn pilot. Well, I don't care. I still don't trust him. Look at the mess he made. And you're exactly right. He is dangerous. Yeah, but he's still in wild card. I'm going to have his head for a trophy on my wall. All right, son, get us back down on the deck. What happened? Yo, man, I was in the butt, and I got the thing, the monster pinned down on the ground. Got his jaws pried open all the way. I'm pinning it, I'm shaking, I'm fighting with him. Spitfire comes in, dude, he's got a full payload. The 50 cal didn't even leave a scratch. He pulls up sharply, comes around for a second run. Spitfire balls up, dude, he comes in close, drops it, nails it, boom, boom! You gotta be Things to kill him. Thank God. Here's our rod. Oh, good. Time to write my award speech. You didn't write that yet? No, I did, but I just worked on the humility aspect, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah. Lieutenant Waters? Yeah, what do you need? Oh, you want an autograph? Because I just killed that big ass monster back there. No, sir, I'm here to arrest you for disobeying a direct order from a superior officer. What? Yo, this Look guy just saved the whole freaking world. What are you talking about? He ain't going nowhere. No. Calm down, people. Are you kidding no, you me? Gotta be Calm down, lady. We're just here for Lieutenant Waters. What are you talking about? 
This is how you treat a hero? That's enough. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just following orders. Fuck it down. Fuck it down. Let's go, cuff me. All right, I'm coming with him then. Go ahead, cuff him. Hook me up. Red, this is a joke. You'll be out before sunset. That's enough. He's you just guys following orders. Orders my ass. I guarantee you're gonna be in Siberia within one week watching pale polar bears Alexander! mate. Alexander! I need help. Help! What's I need wrong? some help. I can't find my daughter. She's 12 years old, about this tall, brown hair. What's her name? Alexandra. Don't worry, I'm gonna right. find her. Tracy, Alexander. go with Red. Have you got it covered? Alex! Dude, Dude unlock it! Let us help him! Come on. Let us help him! Get in the truck! Father sent me in here to get you. Okay? No. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So, you like superheroes? I got a superhero team outside. They sent me in here to get you. Really? I'm Jim. Okay? And my superhero name is Superfly. <coughs> you know why? I came to fly you out of here. Really? I came to get you, but you have to trust me, okay? Yes. All right, you ever play piggyback? All right, if we don't get out of here on piggyback real quick, we're gonna burn to death. You understand? You wanna see your daddy? Yes. Okay, I gotta get you out of here. I want you to close your eyes, <laughs> get on the piggyback, and hold me as tight as you can. Squeeze me tight, okay? Promise? Hold on tight. All right. Ready? Jump up. Come on, baby. Ah, good. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, baby. Keep your eyes closed. <coughs> I was waiting for you. You're almost there, baby. You're almost there. Hold on. That is right outside. <coughs> Alexandra! my superfly mobile. Now, you stay out of bars. This is my goddaughter now, so you better keep a close eye on her, right? Yeah, sure. Move away from this building. It might drop. Come on. Let's go. Move out Alex, the way. Come on. Let's go punch her. <coughs> way to go, superfly!
I'm sorry, Admiral. Review board, 0600. Um, just so you know, for what it's worth, I really am sorry. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, you did a hell of a job today. Thank you, sir. Now get dressed. What for? You are going to be my date in a tasteless political victory dance. Excellent. Sounds like my kind of party. Yeah, well, don't get too excited. You're going to shake some hands, calm down the politicians. And when the clock strikes 12, I'm going to put your ass back in the brig. Oh, man, but I thought we bonded over this stuff, you know? That hurts me. You broke every rule today. I've never been more proud. Oh, uh, Admiral, you are going to be at this party, right? Maybe you haven't looked outside, but you left me one hell of a mess to clean up. Nature. What can I say? What's up, baby? Hi. Good job. Hey, so check it out. The Admiral invited us to this really fancy party. Wants me to be the uh, monkey play something. I don't know what he really phrased it as, but it's really cool. Anyway, I got extra tickets. Do you guys want to go? We already got the invite. And Jim's not going. Oh, disobeying the Admiral, that's my gig. I'm lending a hand to the Red Cross tonight, buddy. You know, I don't think a party is really appropriate. Can well, I... see you, Jailbird. Take care. Later, Jimbo. I agree, I totally agree. But we just have to go for a little bit. I don't want to go to a party. Listen, listen. We'll just go for a little bit. And then we'll go help Jim at the Red Cross, okay? When? I don't know. Three hours. Two. Okay, how about ten minutes? Ten minutes, we fly in there, we, we slap some hands, we have a cocktail, say hello, we split, we leave, we're gone. Deal? Deal. Promise? Promise. Okay. Guess what I heard? What? To get to make those little baby hot dogs that I love. I mean, you love. You love them. Another one, please. I'm a hero now. Yeah. I see that. You impressed? Very impressed. You know what? Maybe someday the mayor will get you one. Nice, thank you. It's very sweet. Just messing with you, baby. I'm oh. I think I'm gonna go check on Jim. Check on Jim? Jim's a grown man. What are you gonna check on him for? Tonight is between you and I. Not Jim, okay? He's a good guy. I know he's a good guy. He's the yin to my yang. He's the half-empty bottle to my kegger. He's a brother from another mother. I mean, come on. How much did you drink? Seriously. Don't worry about it. You... Okay, I'm leaving. You have a good time. How about that? Are you serious? Enjoy your medal. Whoa, whoa, Trace. Trace. You hear that? No, what are you talking about? It's our song. We don't have a song. Of course we have a song. No, we don't. Put your drink down. No, we don't. We have a song, baby. Yo!
March in peace, soldier. Shouldn't you be shaking hands and kissing babies? I'm a little sick, sir. Red and Tracy are gonna handle that for me. I see. Sorry to hear you're under the weather. You need some help? When I was young, I did some field work in the DRC. Changed my life. Oh, crap, here comes Chunky Trucks. Admiral. I need it back at the base. You need to come with me, please. We're sick. It's okay, I can handle this. Using experimental sonar to detect uh, fossilized deposits under the seabed. That's a Banning's jurisdiction. That's right. Only that's just the beginning. You see, four years ago, sonar also discovered something else under the seabed off the coast of Yemen in the Gulf. Let me guess. Yes. I read those reports. There's nothing to indicate. And there wouldn't be, for obvious reasons. Guys, I have the highest clearance in command. What are you saying to me? telling you they shut the program down. They privatized the commission, they went dark. However, we did manage to get some samples, DNA matching, etc. And? And we discovered that these things are hundreds of millions of years old. I mean, hell, they gestate for thousands of years just laying their eggs in crude oil. Crude oil? Yes, sir, crude oil, salt water, and the natural thermal vents underneath the crust is what is needed for these eggs to survive. How many eggs are there? Two. That we know of. We know where the other egg is? Yes, sir, we do. Nothing but water and air. Sir? Doppler radar. You have anything on your screen? Beautiful winter's night. AWACS? We have five in the theater. AWACS, two destroyers, no CG. How about sub? Anything from Lionfish? It's at depth, in position, surveying. Everything looks calm. USS Wasp, this is Lionfish Charlie, 27 over. Lionfish, this is USS Wasp. Ask him what's going on. What's going on, over? We have a 30 degree drop in pressure from the northeast via Yankee Rhino. Over. Can you confirm that? I, I don't see it. Charlie 27, this is Captain Dagger. Uh, we're not seeing that on our screens down here. Send us the coordinates. Stand by. We are now confirming a large mass rising from the ocean floor. Collect that information, send it to Intel. Contact Command, see if they're picking this up too. Charlie 27, be advised. Uh, we're forwarding your intel to command. Over. Sir, some major activity coming in from the outside. Lionfish, Charlie 27, come in. Lionfish, Charlie 27, restate your position. Charlie 27, come in. Captain, I've lost contact with Lionfish. Try another frequency. General Quarters, General Quarters, all hands man your bound station. Transmission 13 minutes ago. Sir? Get Geis on the horn. Tell him we're too late. It hatched. <laughs> Yeah, 
you're known for playing yourself. Got me. So when are you gonna let me get you again? Oh! Did you feel that? We should check on Red. He's in the brig. This one on the other side of the base. Whoa! Oh. All right, let's go! I'm heading to the MP station to find out what's going on. This sounds like a battle, man. I'm a soldier. I can fire a weapon. I can help defuse this. Believe it or not, Airman, there are other trained professionals out there who know how to do their job. This isn't the Gareth Water Show. My name is Red. Oh, well, just sit tight, Red. Don't touch me. Damn it. Do you know where they saw it? They're sitting at the brig on the other side of the base. We gotta get back to the bots. I know that. I know. Yo, we gotta get this together, man. It's either we go, get them suits and get red, or we we done. What do you wanna do? The suits are red. Red, then the bots. and he just bolted like a little pussy. What? Red, that thing's gonna knock this whole building down. We gotta get you out of here. Come on. That's getting really toasty in here, you guys. That's because the whole building is on fire, Red. Yeah, you got any other good news for me? Stop making jokes and figure a way we can get your ass out of here. Listen to me, Jim. You gotta take Tracy and get out of here. You gotta go. No, Red, we're not get out of here, man. Fine. Take care of me, Red. You're in the freaking jail right now. Jim, listen to me. Go. Just get out of here. The MP will come back for me. I'll be fine, I swear. We need to get to the MP station to get Red out. Get me the 2nd Tank Battalion, and get me some artillery ready to mobilize now. Yes, sir. General. General. This is unprecedented, and it calls for an unprecedented solution, sir. I'm not going over this again with you, guys. Admiral, listen to me. The President of the United States has already authorized nuclear force. The President of the United States is not going to authorize a nuclear strike on U.S. soil. Sir, you know damn well this could happen. We must evacuate. This isn't your call, guys. Get on the horn. Tell everybody who's not in tactical to evac this facility immediately. Yes, sir. And where's my MBOT pilots? I'm getting it now. Yeah. Now. Listen, you need to get out of here. This place is gonna blow. It's gonna come crumbling down. Ah! <laughs> yeah! Let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go.
The Admiral's ordered an evac. Daddy Rabbit, Daddy Rabbit, this is uh, Bugsy. Come in, please, Daddy Rabbit. You have permission to go in hot. Roger that, roger that, Daddy Rabbit. All right, still finished. We gotta take care of it. Roger that, guns are hot, coming in hot. Roger that. Titans that almost escaped from the bowels of Tartarus? What are you gonna do, Superfly? I mean, the way I'm feeling right now, I might just go make a memorial for all the people that died today. Nah, this is to them. Cheers. Cheers. Jimmy boy, you certainly do know how to bring down a party. Don't mind me, I get emotional when I drink. My bad. No, don't apologize. Stop. I'm gonna go drain the lizard. You know, but seriously, like when all this die down, what is the next step? With your life? Life, career. Me and you. Hmm? You think about that? All right, you listen to me and you listen up good, Sergeant. I want that thing so shiny Admiral, you could... Admiral, just a second. We what? have a problem here. Well, we got both eggs. Yes, sir, but there's more movement. Where? The Atlantic Coast, sir. Scramble a team. Yes, sir. It's not over. We're drunk and... You know we gotta tell him, right? We can't tell him. He's gonna find no, out. We can't tell him, okay? Just please. Yo, when I said we can share things, I didn't mean everything. Mm. Copy that? Copy that. That's me. Me and Tracy gotta tell you something. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Tracy needs to hear this. We hooked up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what do you mean, hooked up? We kissed one time. We were drunk. A few weeks ago, we... I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo! You almost gave me a heart attack, buddy. At least you ain't mad. After everything we've been through today, everything we experienced, do you know how many of my brother's girlfriends I hooked up with? That is water under the bridge, all right? As long as that is all it was, nothing more. Jim, you got something else you want to say? Jimmy boy, talk to me. It's nothing more than that. Well, we, um... Hold that dog. <clears throat> Yo, we gotta go. Now. Shit. Now. 
got this. Thank you. Well, the Dinosauria is still continuing north, all under sea. Where's the president? He's already been informed and is on his way. Good. Also, the National Guard's been deployed. We're just trying to figure out where this damn thing is going to surface for air. What about the nuclear option, Admiral? Don't be so goddamn trigger happy, guys. Margaret, the pilots are entering the facility now. What is the status of the boss? Red suit has sustained some minor damage. No functionality has been lost, but it took a little beating. A few dings, the damage is minor. It's not a problem. Understood. What's going on? Chaos. Another one of those monsters has just broken off into the surface. I've got direct orders from the Admiral to move to phase two. This halo is an experimental interface designed alongside your training. It will link with your central nervous system inside the Armada suit. It will grant you greater response time, control, and agility while piloting. Is that safe? It's only one way to find out. Now, you may experience some discomfort, at least initially. But as your central nervous system acclimates to the intrusion, moving inside your armada suit should start to feel just like moving your actual body. You will begin to sense what it senses and react to stimuli with as much alacrity as your natural response times. And how much faster is your response time than your Your response bot? time will be exactly like your body. As fast as you can think, that bot will move. Say word. Word. So. Who's up first? You kidding me? Let's rock. Okay, guys. Remember what I talked about about the initial integration. You're going to feel a pinch, so get ready for it. All right? Stay calm inside your gear. We're going to go in three, two, one, go. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I'm fried. Good thing. Okay. <laughs> good. Everybody looks good. All right. See what you can do. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, man, I'm ready to rumble. Very good, Red. Very nice. Excellent. Good. Tracy. Much faster response time. Very good. Jim? Very nice. Excellent. Good. You guys are getting integrated into this well. Yes. Admiral? Got the robots ready. Yes. We're picking up something on sonar. Okay, guys. Training's over. What's going on? Creatures landed in Manhattan. Go. This might be a funny question, but uh, how do they get to New York in this thing? Fly. Fly. Fly.
would have to be waiting around for a while. I'm glad y'all find this so exciting. Oh, you better believe it, Jimmy boy. Cut the chatter, you two. We have a job to do. are not prepared to handle this type of thing. We have to give them time to do their job, guys. General Banning is ready to nuke these things now. Oh, I'll talk to General Banning. You can't just throw down a nuke on Manhattan and pretend it's over. It's not. We need to position the USS Virginia right away. Stone, what's the ETA on the pilot? 25 minutes. What's the status on the Virginia? Active. On its way from North Carolina. billion dollars worth of research was actually really worth it. You better hope so. All right, guys, you're approaching the target. Approaching target zone. Holy crap, you see the size of that thing? Oh my god, he's killing the city, guys. All your systems are operational. You are clear for weapons hot. Yes, man. I'm on your three. Roger that. You're on my three. I'm climbing 22 degrees. Climbing 22 degrees. Admiral, it's, it's, it's bigger than anything we've seen before. And unfortunately, it looks like there's a lot of civilians on the street still. But we should prepare a bomber just in case. Stand down, guys. I'm fully aware of your recommendation. But if you want to stay in my war room, I suggest you keep your clam shut, capiche? Understood, sir. We're not getting no play here. The Admiral is gonna lose New York one way or the other. I think it's time we implement the Trojan horse. Yes, sir. Too tangled. 
Mom, you need to get out of there. Get Dad, get everyone. Everyone's gonna die. Get out of there. We need to get everyone out now. The creatures are killing everyone. Something's happening. I gotta get out of here. We gotta take this thing on hand to hand. We have no options. There you go. You wanna rock? Huh? Huh? We got a problem, guys. I felt that. I can feel the pain in the suit. What did he mean by pain in the suit? It's an offshoot of the biomechanics, Admiral. The suit absorbs shocks, mass interferences, tactile controls. Is this simulated? It's pressurized, and within the suit combined with the exoskeleton of the mechanics, it should be enough to protect the pilots. So, what are you saying here, that if the suit gets hurt, the pilot gets hurt? Yes, but on a minimum level, and the pilots are safe. Has this been tested? It hasn't been field tested. They got it, they got it, they got it. Come on, get back up. What's the matter with you? Come on, Red, you're tougher than that. Red, are you okay? I don't know how much more I can take of this. Red, man up! Let's go! <clears throat> Boys done? Sorry, Mommy. That's what I thought. Don't give me any sass. Has the target been neutralized? I'm certain, Admiral. So what is their fuel? At 40%. 40%? All right, guys, your fuel is running low. We burned up most of our fuel just getting here. OK, guys, we never had a chance to go over this, but you will find a control panel near your left gyroscope. It is your MAYWEP, your melee weapons activation panel. Press it now. Your left gyroscope, copy that. Sword there. Hell yeah, now we're talking. All right, let's do this together. Let's rock and roll. Please, allow me. Oh, don't forget, this makes two kills. <laughs> Secretary of Defense on the horn. Yes, sir. I need the Secretary's office now. It's me. It doesn't matter, sir. I could save 10 million bodies from 1 million. This thing has to be nuked right now. We have no other options. Absolutely. Consider it done. Yes, sir. USS Virginia, prepare for launch. Guys. Who the hell were you talking about? That was General Banning, Admiral. The USS Virginia is in theater, and we need to act now. We have to nuke these things. That is a bad idea. That is not our call, sir. Are our troops still engaging the enemy? Until there are no more options? Well, then you get back on the horn. You tell him that I'll have them 30 minutes. Sir, I don't think we have that kind of time. Uh, the bots will be directly in the line of fire. 
God damn it, guys, we gotta give them a chance to do their job. Admiral, the USS Virginia has been cleared for nukes hot. I see the creature on my radar. What's the plan now? What are we doing? Took Jackass just ordered a nuclear strike, so if you can't kill it, get the hell out of there. We need to stop that nuke. Oh my god. I have family in New York. I'm gonna fly and intercept the missile and use my jamming device to stop the detonation. What is the elevation detonation for the missile? That nuke's gonna detonate at an altitude of 550 meters. It'll be there in less than five minutes. All right, then there's no time to waste. You do keep the creature occupied. Listen, Red, it's gonna be super, super close. Wouldn't like it any other way. Get out of the spin. Yeah, there we go. All right, guys, so you gotta watch your flank. Come on, Red. Dive down in there, baby. Shut off the Armada suits. What? Shut off the damn Armada suits! Get it, guys. I'm not gonna ask you again. What the hell's going on here? Well, guys, I see you've officially lost your mind. This is about national security. Don't do it. Leave of your pay grade. Don't talk to me about national security. This is about the ambition of weak and selfish men, guys. Nothing more. Look, we couldn't shut them down if we wanted to. They are too far out of range. Don't give me that. So call a drone. Tell you what, I'm gonna give you to the count of five. Shoot the animal. Go right ahead. You think I'm scared of a little coward like you? Five. Shoot a man, Sheldon. Four. You know what the secret is to shooting somebody, Sheldon? Three. Never hesitate. <laughs> Well, that didn't go exactly as planned in my mind. Admiral, we've got to get you to a hospital. Negative. It's just a flesh wound. I'm not going anywhere until my pilots are successful. Good work, Wexler. Admiral, this blood is on your hands. You gotta drop the nose. You don't know what you're doing. How are they doing? Not so good. Take that! Come on! You'll handle more!
status on blue. 11% and dropping. The sympathetic neural feedback has become too great. She, she has to be disconnected soon. If she's not disconnected, what does that mean? She's gonna die. I'm getting out of trouble. I'm going after her. Margaret, what's the status on Tracy? Tracy, come to, baby, come to. You all right? Jim, we need you to get Tracy to safety. Listen to me, her neural feedback has become too great. It's gonna be all right, I got you. Get that halo off her. I'm taking this thing to space, man. I'm gonna blow this new up. Okay, let's go, you and I. Red's core is failing. Oh, God. All right, Red, Red, you, your power is draining rapidly. You have a power drain somewhere. Don't worry about me, Margaret. He's doing what I think he's doing. He's taking it out of space. I'm fine. I'll see you on the other side. Coming to get you, baby. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, God. He's going to detonate the nuke. Tracy. Leah. You okay? Knuckle hit banning one order a second nuclear strike. What? Oh. Where the hell's waters? Let's go, bitch! Let's go! You don't need to do this. Not this way, Red. Who's got it in him? Huh? Ah! Say the four of us go over a local drinking establishment and get four shots of tequila. First round's on me, son. Jesus, you know how to make a mess. Running and gunning! That's what my mom Running said. Running and gunning! 